Uh, then there's also this headline today, the other side of the aisle. <laughs> Biden's dog, Commander, no longer at the White House after biting incidents. Scott, when it rains, it <clears throat> pours. I know you don't want to talk about the border and what happened. <laughs> we are going to get there. You talked to my but, Republican colleagues about <laughs> very substantive political issues. But look, and you hey, turn to me and well, say, I want to talk to you about the dog. So the dog, the dog apparently <clears throat> bit like a dozen people, and now it's out of the White House. But there's a report from Axios that said that, uh, that basically White House staff was warning the First Lady's office, you could get sued because of this. If this is what the Democrats, the only dividing point for the Democrats in Washington. Oh, God it's bless not. Them. We're going to talk we're about that. We're having a <laughs> for the Republicans. Let me say this. I grew up with shepherds. Uh, I've got a Connie Corso right now. These are very protective dogs. They are not high strung, but if you get close to someone or family member that they see as their, their protective source, if you will, you can get this. They have to be very well trained. And I'm not surprised. And the exposure for getting bit by a dog, whether you're, you're in your community or at the White House is the same. By the way, I learned a little bit about presidential pets today. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt had a badger named Josiah. Uh, President Taft had a cow at the White House. Woodrow Wilson had sheep that grazed on the front lawn, and Calvin, Calvin Coolidge had Rebecca the raccoon. Uh, the, there you go. Did the raccoon not bite people, too? I, I, I hope not. It's, it's a, a good sign of the times in Washington. <clears throat> these days, you can't even have a dog as a friend. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.